Welcome back to Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Well, uh, it's, I'm afraid there is no recovery in the market just yet. Uh, the Nifty is still down 228 points. In fact, it's gotten worse by the minute. So, looks like this market is in a mood to take profits off the table. Now, one space that has been under pressure is the auto space. Uh, the retail sales data for the month of January has been released by the Federation of Automobile Dealers Association. And it is a pretty ugly picture. Total vehicle retail sales down by 10% year on year. If you compare it to January of 2020, the total sales are down 18%. Semiconductor shortage continues to hit the production of passenger vehicles. And uh, the passenger vehicle inventory is at a historic low of just 8 to 10 days. Well, let's find out more. Vinkesh Gulati, the president of the Federation of Automobile Dealers Association, joins us now. Vinkesh, thanks so much for joining us. You know, this data that you have put out um, is backdated, right? I mean, it's numbers that we know. Uh, tell us a little bit about the way forward because when we were interacting with the management of Tata Motors post their numbers, they said that the worst of the semiconductor shortage is perhaps behind us. Would you agree with that? And if yes, what do you see as the trend for the month of February? Oops, okay. I think... Uh, he can't hear me, so I'm going to try and just re-establish that connection. But I think that seems to be the moot point, right, Ekta? Yeah. That uh, this semiconductor shortage is something that the street knows of. Yeah. And uh, perhaps most companies, including Mothers and Sumi, Tata Motors, have said that the worst of the issue is behind us. So perhaps uh, things are looking... Absolutely. Up. I think that that's the word which came in from the Bosch Global Head mm. as well, where maybe this year would be the year where the semiconductor issue would probably be ironed out a little more. And is that the only reason though? Because there is this whole rural distress which yeah. is hitting the two-wheeler segment. So while semiconductor is one issue, it could also be the fact that there's just lower demand at this point. Absolutely. And you know, they say when it rains, it pours, right? Mm. So apart from the semiconductor shortage, there's also rural distress. Mm. There's also the onslaught of electric vehicles because of which Absolutely. I see engine uh, sales are under pressure. All right. I think we have Vinkesh Gulati back with us. Mr. Gulati, yeah. if you can hear me, my question to you was, you know, the data that we've put out is the data for the month of January. So it's a thing of the past. Uh, what is the way forward? Because, uh, you know, large OEMs like Tata Motors have said that the worst of the semiconductor shortage is behind them. Would you concur with that view? So uh, thanks for having me, Sonia. Uh, Practically, yes, Tata Motors is one company which has uh, gone through this semiconductor shortage in a very, very organized way and they have been front runner and that is what the benefit they are seeing in growth of 40 to 50 percent year on year. But leave apart Tata company at Tata Motors, lest all the other manufacturers are still grappling with this issue. Their supply chain is not, still not, uh, you can say, near to the normal, whereas the demand as of today is at its best stage. We are seeing a lot of waiting period. Uh, even a normal car has two to three months waiting period, uh, exclude the Tata products. So overall, the semiconductor has affected the full industry. What we see that the passenger vehicle is down by 10%. And that is not to do with anything in demand, but majorly due to the supply issues, what we are seeing for the past N year or so as of today. Okay. Uh, Mr. Gulati, you know, just to take that point forward, uh, it is that the commentary uh, has probably been more about the improvement of the semiconductor issue this year. So in your sense, what is the capacity utilization on an average for the company's X of Tata? And where do you expect it to probably average out in, 20, uh, in this fiscal uh, based on the fact that maybe things could probably iron out a little more? So if you exclude Tata, I feel the companies are working at 70 to 80 percent of their capacity. And uh, if I see the demand, it's more than at least one and a half times what they are producing as of today. So uh, there are a lot of companies evenly, openly saying that within two, three months, the semiconductor issue will be behind us. But if we interact with the semiconductor uh, manufacturers who originally uh, uh, are the issue of the supply chain, they are still giving a message that they still need one year to ease off the overall supply. Uh, I feel in two, three months or four months, we'll see the uh, production coming to around 90 or percent or 100 percent. But the kind of demand what we are seeing post uh, first wave of COVID of personal mobility, I feel it will still take an year where we can say that the supply, ch supply and the demand are matching uh, on the ground for the car sales. 
can you give us some data on uh, the retail sales for two wheelers uh, brand wise because you know what we're seeing is i mean when we spoke to the management of bajaj auto they said that there's a lot of rural distress even now and they're expecting a double digit fall in two wheeler sales in the next couple of months um, how bad is the situation there right now and who is facing the biggest brunt is it the uh, ones who have a higher rural exposure like hero motor corp and how much of this onslaught of electric vehicles is hitting uh, ic engine demand the overall two wheeler market has been seeing this distress for the past one of one and a half years now and uh, overall uh, we can easily uh, predict uh, say that the rural is the biggest concern along with rural even the tier 3 tier 4 towns where the middle class or the lower middle class by normally by the entry level is uh, going through a financial dis uh, distress for the past one one and a half years starting from the covid lockdowns when, uh, in 2020 hmm. so overall two wheeler sales the entry level two wheeler sales is in a, is in a distress stage for long and uh, uh, no future uh, is uh, no positive future is being seen we were expecting something good from the budget but uh, nothing major there a long run benefit no doubt the kind of msp they have announced 2 and 1/2 lakh crores to farmers uh, new road infrastructure which is coming obviously new interest no new roads come through rural roads only so these are the two positive thing which will affect the rural in the coming time but it will take lot of time so overall two wheelers we are looking at a degrowth regular going ahead Uh, uh like you said bajaj has been right on that uh, overall it has affected the entry level uh, market the most which is uh, ruled by hero motor corp as of today uh, the products like 125 cc and above are seeing a, are stable or seeing a growth electric vehicle has no doubt doubled their numbers but obviously uh, those numbers are not able to support the degrowth sure. what we are seeing in ice okay, so overall this- not a good step in two wheeler All right. What about commercial vehicles then? Because you mentioned the budget, and the budget had a strong focus towards capex. So, is your sense that uh, we could probably exceed uh, numbers that we've already indicated for commercial vehicles or shown already for the month of Jan? Uh, how is FY23 looking according to you? So, for commercial vehicle, FY23 is looking good. Uh, already, we are doing better numbers year on year. Uh, and it's just minus nine as we compare to the pre-COVID months, and uh, the only segment which is down, even uh, uh, if compared to uh, pre-COVID, is LCV, uh, which is the first-time users customer. So I am hopeful with all the in- uh, interventions of government, the commercial vehicle segment, uh, no doubt the FY23 will be uh, equal to or better than FY20. Okay well this has been a very challenging time for the sector hopefully things will improve thanks a lot for joining us mr gulati not looking thanks, good in terms thanks, of retail sales for the month of january there's definitely semiconductor shortage that continues to hit production and uh, rural distress hitting sectors like two wheelers let's slip into a short break we'll get chatting with rajdeep kumar gupta the md and